But first, I want to start with a basic introduction to XRD and XRF technology and how they are similar and how they differ. So what is X-ray fluorescence? Very simply put, X-ray fluorescence uses an excitation source to excite elements, uh, electrons within an atom. This excitation will eject an electron from its orbital, and there is a transition at that point from the next orbital, and this transition releases an amount of energy. This energy is directly proportional to the amount of that element within your sample. Quantitative element analysis, typically magnesium to uranium. It can measure from the PPM level to percent level for most elements. On this next slide, we're showing the user interface how the operator first sees the data output from the instrument. It consists of a graphic output, as you can see, and to the right-hand side of the slide, it also gives you elemental breakdown, concentration, and statistical analysis. So that's the output for X-ray fluorescence. Typical detection limits are uh, shown on this uh, slide here. Uh, typically, detection limits, limits will vary uh, with simple matrix, but these are some general rules that you can apply. So now we move to X-ray diffraction. X-ray diffraction is a direct mineralogy tool. It can offer qualitative mineral phase analysis, RAF range concentration-wise, 2% to 100%. Other techniques can calculate or derive mineralogy, but XRD provides direct min mineralogy, and this means that it identifies and quantifies the mineralogy directly from the crystal structure of your mineral. Continue on, continuing on to the next slide, the output of the analysis gives the user a series of peaks for the diffraction pattern. An example of the diffraction patterns is shown on the slide here. The diffraction pattern is then matched against a database of known compounds. There are publicly available databases like AMSCSD that focus on mineralogical compounds, and there are subscription databases that can offer a wider range of organic and inorganic substances. The distinguishing difference between the two techniques uh, are elemental versus mineralogy. Both techniques use an X-ray source as a, as a end detector, excuse me. Both measure the response to X-rays interacting with a substance, and both provide measurement to help identify a substance. The difference is that XRF is elemental. So with an XRF, you would be able to analyze and detect iron, regardless of its state. With XRD, the same analysis will yield information such as hematite or magnetite, shown on the uh, right-hand column. Um, it also can, XRF will give you total elemental calcium, regardless of how it's structured. XRD can show you the polymorphs, calcium carbonate, calcite versus aragonite, versus veterite. This is the main distinguishing difference between the two techniques. 